Alrighty, welcome back gang. Thank you for joining me for another little stumble through. Today what we're going to be discussing is Red Hat Cloud Access and how to run Red Hat Enterprise Linux on Amazon Web Services or AWS. Now, I'll, I'll show you what I mean by how to do it and how to do it properly really. Um, so here I've got just AWS Management Console. If I wanted to start up a virtual private server in their public cloud, all I would have to do is come into their EC2 service and say launch instance. Next, I get to choose the AMI or the Amazon Machine Image, or this is going to be basically a distribution or a bundled software that's deployed onto this virtual private server. And looky here, I can just choose to deploy RHEL, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8, right here. I can choose x86 or ARM. Let's just choose x86. And from here, I can just select the instance type. We'll do default VPC settings, add storage. We'll skip the tags. Uh, security group default, SSH, review and launch. And I can just so quickly and easily deploy a Red Hat Enterprise Linux system in their public cloud. Now, this is great for testing things on RHEL and ephemeral, uh, ephemeral instances where I will deploy this and tear it down and don't want to go through the whole subscription process and talk to Red Hat for a subscription for a workload that will only last a few days to weeks or a couple months. And, you know, it's, there's a very simple billing process here, right? It just goes all through AWS. Um, I'm not going to launch this because, well, I don't need to, but you might see a problem with this. What if you have a number of Red Hat Enterprise Linux subscriptions already in your Red Hat account? Well, you can use them on AWS, and, you, and as soon as you launch them, uh, you can just subscribe that machine with your account information and that subscription pool to consume one of those subscriptions. But the problem is that you're going to be double paying, if not almost triple paying, for your RHEL subscription. And I'll tell you why. This Red Hat Enterprise Linux standard or premium, both of them get this two-for-one VM allotment. Either way, these... Standard and premium SLA subscriptions for RHEL get two virtual machines to each subscription. Now, if I deploy it with the same process I just showed you earlier, just launch instance, choose the RHEL AMI, and just go from there, Amazon does not have a way to just allot you half of a subscription, so you basically pay the full price and lose that two-for-one VM allowance. So you already pay for double from the get-go, and if you're using this method of resubscribing those machines with your account, then you're almost paying triple, if not more. So, Cloud Access is here to solve all of that, right? And I'll show you what I mean. Um, so, Cloud Access gives you a couple ways to take your subscriptions to the cloud. So let's just Google Red Hat Cloud Access. We click this first link. You can check out the information in the program overview. Basically, what it allows you to do is take your subscriptions and move them into a public cloud provider like AWS. If you've got your own images that you've baked on RHEL, you can move your own images and do that process here. But they do have a very nice streamlined uh, bit to kind of just deposit the Red Hat certified gold images for RHEL all the different versions, they'll share it with your AWS account, which is really nice. So let's check that out. This is actually what we want to do. So we'll enable with the Red Hat Gold images here. I've already logged into my account here, obviously, at the Red Hat Customer Portal. I'm going to provide it my AWS account information. The way you do that, the way you find that out, I'm going to demonstrate with this workshop account that we have here is you click on your user will drop down and click on my account and here I'll blur this out obviously you'll have your account ID you want to copy this number this is the number we'll use here in just a moment so the Amazon account you want to paste that in 
For the product name, you'll select one of your RHEL subscriptions. So here I have Red Hat Enterprise Linux standard support. And I'm just going to choose quantity one. That's all you really have to do. It's just put in your account ID, select the RHEL product, and click submit. All right, now this will be processed. It takes a little bit of a manual effort for them to share it uh, with your account. But basically, in a few days, you'll get access to the Red Hat Amazon machine images. And the way you access this is you deploy an instance, right? Let's just launch a new instance. Now, instead of selecting RHEL right here, I'm going to click on this little tab called My AMIs. Instead of Owned With Me, I'm going to click Shared With Me. You can click Owned By Me as well, but you want to click Shared With Me because these are going to be the RHEL AMIs that you now have shared with your account once the cloud access process has gone through. So let's say I want to deploy RHEL 7.7. Select that and you get the same sort of process as you would normally just launching another instance from the marketplace, right? Now the difference is that you need to subscribe these machines before it will do anything. The Amazon Marketplace RHEL instances have those subscriptions already kind of baked in, so you don't have to worry about that. But in this instance, when you do deploy with Cloud Access, you will consume one of these RHEL subscriptions and benefit from that two-for-one VM allowance. And with that, now you know how to deploy your subscriptions in the Amazon Web Service Public Cloud with Red Hat's Cloud Access Program. Enjoy the cost savings and other benefits because with the marketplace you don't get to manage your instances from the customer portal so you have no insight into there this way you do another benefit hey keeps getting better doesn't it yeah, yeah. anyway thanks for watching